Marcus Bodeman was born August 7, 1995 with his twin sister, Claire. He was diagnosed with Down syndrome at birth. Marcus today is 19 years old and he lights up the world around him. He's just like any other kid and has his activities and interests. He loves his uh, musical toys, so the oh, keyboard type things and then his caterpillar music things. Um, he loves basketball. What's your favorite <laughs> sport? But Football. Basketball? Yeah. Yeah, where do you play basketball? At the church. At the church? Yeah. yeah. Who do you play with? Yeah, yeah. Coach White? Yeah. Yeah, you play yeah. with Coach White? Yeah. And Olivia? Yeah. 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 Um, he likes tennis, too. He does like tennis. Well, he's learned to like a lot of different sports because of Claire and Isaac. Um, he used to dread going to soccer games, <laughs> but now he's gotten to where he really gets into it. He'll get up and yell, and he always has to give a shout out to Coach Mo, which is kind of fun. But um, those probably basketball is his biggest yeah. sport. He likes bowling too. Yeah. Throughout these different activities in school, he has made a lot of friends throughout his life. Yeah. Do you uh, in your friend? Yeah. Do you ride the bus with Landon? Yeah, Mimi. And Sammy. Who? Yeah. Are they your friends? Who? Who else are your friends? Bo Coach White? Yeah. Coach Bo White's your friend? Is Olivia? Yeah, Bobby. Ivy? Yeah, Bobby. And Coach Mo? Mo Mo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, my relationship, I had Marcus for four years in, in physical education and, uh, uh, you know, just I, I see him at church, uh, uh, things like that, and uh, you know, Marcus has been one of the, that was one of my favorite times is when Marcus would come into PE, it, it would light my day. He just walks in and, and he's always running and, and, and jumping and hugging and, and uh, just, he, you can just see the joy and the, and the light come out of him. I just think others should know how, how special he is and how sweet he is and kind hearted and uh, he just, you know, he just wants to be like everybody else. Marcus's personality is very caring and he loves to have fun. He feels for others and wants people to know that he cares. Uh, I would say that Marcus, his personality is definitely one of a kind. He really can't even explain his personality. Stop. Stop. Mike. He loves to show off, obviously. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think that, <laughs> well, for one, he's really oh. strong. Most people don't, because he looks so tiny, but he's literally so strong, he can destroy you. But uh, another thing is that Marcus is actually really sensitive. Like, when other people are sad, you can definitely tell that he gets sad, too. Even though he might not know what's going on, he, like, feeds off other people's body language. <laughs> Everyone who has met Marcus has some positive memory of him that they will remember forever. Uh, a specific memory that makes me like really think about how Marcus has brought me happiness and joy is whenever he escorted me in homecoming and seeing all the people cheer for him when we both walked down, it was just like, it was great to just see how everybody loves Marcus. Everyone has something they can learn from Marcus and he has a way of connecting with people and touching them in some way. He is, he's really taught us just so much. And he's very fun most of the time. He, uh, I, I guess he's made me appreciate family, friends, and classmates, and just their acceptance of him and how he has a positive impact on them. And it goes both ways, and so he's, you know, it's kind of cool how he's, uh, and, and his classmates have had such a, a good impact and vice versa because they've been wonderful to him. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool. So. It's always an adventure. Marcus tends to go through phases just from when he was very small through even now. He'll get into an activity or um, certain things that are important to him. So I think from the beginning, it was just 
an adventure. <laughs> he, um, I think we have learned a lot of lessons from Marcus, our whole family has. He's taught us a lot, and, and we've talked about this multiple times, but um, he's taught us how to be very patient. He has taught us that eventually over time, he will figure things out. He's very smart. Unfortunately, he's just not able to communicate to us very well. But if we wait long enough, we've discovered he, he knows exactly what he's talking about. He's, he's just like our other two kids. He has his challenges, and uh, but he has taught us a lot and he's entertained us a lot. He's uh, uh, taught us to enjoy simple things and uh, he's taught us how to be happy. He's, there doesn't, not a day goes by that he's not, he's not happy to run into school. He's the happiest kid going back to school, so. <laughs> yeah, every day you get some sort of chuckle just from either a silly face that he makes, or that's probably the biggest thing. It's, and that's his thing. He likes to make people happy. I want people to know just how um, loving he is and how he um, just enjoys life. And he's just, uh, he's just, he's fun to be around. Kind of, he's infectious as far as that joy of life. With Marcus, there is never a dull moment. Marcus's life is different from others, but he is always happy and he wants others to be too. Everyone has a lot they can learn from Marcus's happy life. His life serves as an amazing and loving story that can inspire others.